guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thursday, November 25th. It's Thanksgiving. And I feel like it has been such a long time. Um, by the time this goes out, you will have seen like me getting ready for my birthday. That didn't happen because I got sick. And I just like wanted to feel like my best for my birthday, obviously. So I just like canceled everything. Um, but I still wanted to put that vlog out there. But just let you know, that's why I like afterwards, you're not going to see like a birthday vlog or anything like that. Because I literally got sick Halloween. So you'll see footage of like Jeremiah putting together his, um, what was we doing? The pumpkin. And then after that, that's it because then I got sick and I didn't feel like doing anything. So I went um, fast forward. So here we are. It's the first time picking up the camera since then. And I wanted to show you guys last night we went to Ulta and we went to Target because this weekend is Indigo's baby shower. So I had to get some stuff. Um, I was trying to use the registry, but I don't know what's wrong with my phone. Like the app wouldn't load because you know how you buy stuff off the registry and you like scan the barcode so that it can update the registry so that people won't buy the same stuff, but it wouldn't work. So I was trying to go off memory of what I saw because I looked at it like the day before. Um, I don't think I got the exact stuff, but I knew I wanted to get like a lot of the bath stuff that she put on the registry, like the robes, some hooded towels. So I just got what they had. I got like um, a hooded towel, a robe, like some lotion, some Dove lotion, some Dove body wash, like a safety thing. That wasn't really bath, but it, you know, got the brush to comb and stuff in it. Something else, um, washcloths. So, oh, and a pack of onesies. Cause I already like got in to go some stuff, but you know, come to the baby shower empty-handed and I have to like our line always for the first baby like my sorority sisters my sons like we will gift you know um our sons whatever they choose normally it's always like the travel system or like maybe some type of I think we got like a mama roo before whatever Whatever they want to get, we come together and we get that. And I volunteered to organize Indigos just because, you know, and we got the travel set. I got that mm, like two weeks ago because my anxiety, I just wanted to make sure that there was no hiccups and stuff like that. Um, because I knew that we all know the baby shower is at the end of this month. So that's Sunday. So we did that. And then I went to Ulta. The purpose was because you know how they give you that birthday gift. This stuff is irrelevant, but I picked it up because I knew I was almost out. I got the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This isn't the normal color I got it. I normally get it in Deep Cinnamon, but I went like two shades lighter and got the Deep Olive just because I be trying to conceal my dark circles, but then I get concealer that matches my skin tone. So it really doesn't conceal anything. It just makes everything look the same color. So we're gonna go like a shade lighter well I went two shades lighter you know and then I got the camo concealer sponge because it says this is the best with their camo with their camo concealers instead of like the other one that I normally use I'll still use that for like my face and then use this so that's my plan and you know I'm trying to I'm trying to get there you know what I mean with the makeup but this is what I was most excited about because sometimes the little gifts that you get from Ulta for like your birthday, like I never really use, like it just be like going to waste. But this is the Brigio Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do much with this, but we're going to make it work because this deep conditioner is like $38 and I've always wanted to try their products, but they're just kind of on the more expensive side. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Brigio is black owned, so we using her. The next wash day, we using this. It's, um, it says on the packaging that it has no harsh sulfates, no silicones, or no parabens. Scientifically proven to decrease hair breakage after two uses. So we, we, we excited about her. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to talk about was my birthday present that I got. Jermaine got me a new camera. <laughs> it's the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. <laughs> I was so excited. This was so freaking, I don't know why I say freaking so much. This was 
so unexpected and I was so excited. I was so happy. I was sick. I was miserable. So I was like, oh, this is this is perfect. I know I've been complaining because I, I don't have a camera. Um, I broke it. Well, I didn't break it. Somehow it got broken at the hospital when they were transferring my stuff. But um, yeah, I got to obviously like, you know, it's not hasn't been open. I haven't been filming nothing. So it's still all in the box. Haven't done anything with it. I'm going to um, get all the settings and stuff because like, like I said, this weekend, um, I'm going to Louisville and stuff. So I would like to use my camera. I just got to get like a, uh, I got to get a new tripod because the one I have is like so horrible. It's like the one that if I had it with me, it, it's like my very first one I got for vlogging and it's like bendable and stuff like that. But um indigo has this tripod that raven elise was talking about that's what i'm gonna get to go with the camera i just i haven't done anything lately so it comes with the the battery charger and here's the camera look at her look at her <laughs> so excited and then comes with battery and uh, yeah and then just this little thing you put on there so you can carry it but yeah i need to get the only thing i need to do is get the tripod and um i think i just need to start fresh with a new memory card i feel like there's no point in transferring the one from my old camera because i was always having to delete at like footage off of it before I could even film so I think I'm just gonna get a new memory card because that one like what's the point and I thought like when that was happening with the old camera I could have sworn that I bought a new one but either I lost it or I just like made that up and never bought it so yeah I wanted to show you guys my new camera and like we back I'm not sick anymore so I got like I had about three videos that were pre-filmed before I got sick. So I'm, those will be out like before this. And then we we back. We back. We'll be back with a new camera. But yeah, um, I wanted to hop on here. Say happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're enjoying your um, holiday with your family and your friends. And I will see you guys later because the food's almost done. I just made like my little wine punch. And we just about to chill until like everything finishes up. We may take Jeremy's pictures today because we haven't taken his six months pictures for the month. I'm trying to see if there was anything else we needed to catch up on. I don't know, guys, but I'm going to show you guys the food and everything and check in with you guys later. I feel like I never even did an introduction, so <laughs> welcome back to another vlog. How we doing? How we living? I hope everybody's good and in good health because your girl's been sick and like... <laughs> It just makes you like reevaluate some things, you know what I mean? So, hope everyone's doing well. I would just 
just like try stuff on make sure everything looks good together it would eliminate all the extra stuff that I bring with me because I wouldn't need it but because I don't try stuff on make sure stuff looks well it's like oh in case this don't look right bring this jacket bring this purse bring these shoes like it just gets to be like a whole lot um it literally said that the travel time was like an hour and 59 minutes and I'm like well that's good because last time when I traveled to Louisville it was a lot of construction I mean I think I added like 45 minutes or so to like my travel like well back there I think it only added like 15 minutes it's pretty early and it's Thanksgiving weekend so people are probably just like chilling now tomorrow going home maybe like more traffic because people are probably going to be traveling back home but we'll worry about that later um you guys do any black friday shopping I, we really didn't i think i ordered some stuff off of sephora um which is actually already ready for pickup but i was like i guess i'll just get it i think i got into like wednesday so i'll just get it next week and then we got some stuff for jeremiah but other than that we didn't really do any black friday shopping and then Oh my god so we was watching because at first for thanksgiving we were going to watch Grey's and station 19. do people still watch that like i'm still in love with Grey's anatomy and i like station 19 too and like it's a lot been going on you know it's definitely you know they gave us the pandemic content but this season is like regular Grey's anatomy and I don't know if you're a Station 19 fan, but if you're not, you need to be. Because this is my first time ever really, like, getting into a firefighter show. Like, I've never watched a firefighter show. So, watching this one, which is basically like a spin, not a spinoff, but it, like, the character, you know how it is when a character from, like, like a show gets their own show. So, that's basically, like, Warren from, um... Grey's Anatomy like y'all know how he was all over the place he kept changing careers he was an anesthesiologist then wanted to become a surgeon and then got tired of being a surgeon then wanted to be a firefighter and a surgeon it was like a lot so they gave him his own show and it's it's, it's really good so if you don't watch it I feel like you should or if you're just like looking for a different show okay I'm going off on a tangent we were going to watch that because we're behind like we didn't watch um, obviously there was like no episode on Thanksgiving, but the Thursday before we missed. So we were going to watch it on Thanksgiving, but the night, I think like Tuesday night or Wednesday night or something, Jermaine discovered that like Kevin Hart had a new show, like a limited series coming to, um, Netflix. And I was just listening to an interview with him on the breakfast club, but it, it's a limited series on netflix called true story man that show had me so stressed you know it's good like it's, it's a good show like i feel like it's different for like from what kevin hart be giving like when i um when Jerain told me about it like before i watched the trailer you know i read the description and he's like a comedian so i was like really like you a comedian in real life so listen to me i'm already trying to write the show off we watched that trailer and I was like, whoa, so I don't know, like you gotta watch it. It's, it's a good show. Like I said, it's a limited series, so it's only like seven episodes. Um, I think they call them chapters, but it's like Kevin Hart, like I said, he's a comedian, you know, on his on his way up basically. He just did like a movie that uh did, like gross like a billion and um he's like a superhero so everybody's like super excited and stuff like that but his his brother his older brother is basically like trouble like he's trouble he's always been like that like his whole life he's in and out of jobs always needing money type vibes and he comes um they in philly so that's where he's from and stuff born and raised and stuff so his brother lives there you know he, he's coming through coming to the hotel and all this other stuff like i'm about to probably i'm not gonna give you the story you know you gotta watch it but like he just gets kevin in a whole lot of trouble and i mean it's like serious trouble that you just you just like what is going on and then it's like every time you think they in the clear 
like the neck like the shoe you know you just like the shoe keep dropping and it, it just like you it's like you can't breathe it's one of those shows that it got you so stressed because every time you think you can let up and relax and maybe it's just gonna be regular like you know he's a comedian so he got shows he got photo shoots and stuff it's just all this behind the scenes that's going on it's literally nuts like Kevin Hart did really good like it's a quick watch so if you like need what tomorrow's Sunday just just watch it <laughs> this is really good like it's like one of those things though that I don't think it's gonna be anything else like I think that's all they can do with it like because the way like what the story is how it ends it's like you can't do nothing else with this but it's one of those things like this is enough like you, you gave what needed to be gave and it's just it was it was good I was stressed like after the first episode I was like I don't want to watch this no more like <laughs> Like we, me and Jermaine had to have a whole debrief because I was so freaking anxious. And I'm sorry about this lighting, but I wanted to get on here while I was in the car. I mean, I got two hours to kind of like, you know, open today's uh, vlog. Cause I'm like, I forgot to do it before I left. So I feel like the lighting's harsh, weird, but it's okay. But I, we had to have a whole debrief because I was like, nah, I told him, I was like, I'm gonna watch it. He was like, what he was like because well the episode wasn't even over we had like seven minutes left and i was like i can't do this like i can't watch this it was like it's a lie it's like it's like new jacks i never watched new jack city but jermaine was like it reminds him of like modern day like new jack city because of wesley snipes um like mixed with like american gangster you know like those type shows so it's a lot but if you into that kind of stuff like that you should check it out so I got my little coffee because I'm trying to like not always go to Starbucks. It's so crazy. Like I was talking about getting an iced coffee maker in one of my vlogs like before my birthday. And my sister Kale bought me the iced coffee maker I was talking about. So I was super excited. It came with like this little cup and I just be like every single day with this iced coffee maker. But I need to, it came with a recipe book and I feel like I threw it away. But it ain't nothing to hop on Pinterest or something like that. So I'm gonna look into some recipes because right now all I'm doing is like the coffee ice and then throwing some creamer in there. It's either like hazelnut, hazelnut? Do I be using hazelnut? I think that's a lie. I think I'd be using like the um, caramel macchiato or something like that. But I need to figure out some recipes because I think I'm already like tired of this, but not the coffee maker, but type of coffee I keep making so yeah guys um I'm about to just vibe out listen to some music and I am gonna touch in with you guys when we get there because I'm excited dress fitting um yeah it looks a little blurry half of the day just sweats my Uggs yeah it's definitely blurry sorry guys and have on this New York sweatshirt that I feel like, yeah, I told you guys about in a haul. This is actually my sister's Columbia jacket because I packed a coat and it's not that cold outside. I don't know why it's so blurry. It's okay. I'm gonna have Kale say hi because that's where I'm at. I'm at my sister's house. So we are, it's like one o'clock and we're about to head to the fitting. Um, I'm trying to do like this middle part situation. Um, I don't know what's going on but I don't know I'm trying to it's growing on me a little bit because there's like a little bit of volume to my hair but yeah see you when we get there Hey guys, today is Sunday, November 28th. I'm headed to Indigo's baby shower. Quick outfit of the day. Can't like see everything, but I have on this black turtleneck with these high-waisted rust orange. Um, they're like wide leg pants. I love them. I mentioned them in my recent Shein clothing haul. And then this little brown purse that I got from Forever 21. Here we go. These are my little pants. And then I just have on these random, <laughs> um, what are these? Flats, loafers, so, yep. 
this is the look. <laughs> we might have to put it down some so you can see your little head. <laughs> yeah. Peace. Peace. <laughs> hey guys, so I made it back home. It's like almost nine o'clock. So I wanted to end off the vlog. I did a horrible job of filming Indigo's. <laughs> filming Indigo's um baby shower. The decorations and everything were so beautiful and Indigo looked beautiful. It was a good time. But I am coming. I don't even know if you can hear me over the chaos. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Say bye.